Hello everybody, this is Kapo Daniel, the president of the African People's Right Advocative Platform. I want to come today to you to share with you a very vital information that is very important for us African people and black people as a whole. We are all excited about the changes that is happening in Northern Africa with the numerous coup d'etat that have taken place in Burkina Faso, in Mali, and now in Niger. And our people are full with ecstasy. The youth of Africa are vibrating with joy that finally those dinosaur regimes that were put after independence have been getting rid of. Our people have become the solution with the whole idea of democracy because the West have used democracy in Africa to install and sustain authoritarian, stable dictators against the will and the wishes of the African people most Africans have, have gotten fed up with democracy as a whole, and uh, our people are confused. So a drowning person will hold even a crocodile to survive. But in Africa, we need to know the reality of what our people want, what is good for our people, so that we can make the right changes to help alleviate African poverty and make Africa an emerging continent. So today, I want to talk to you about what is happening in Niger. The real reason why there was a coup d'etat in Niger, there have been numerous documentaries made mostly by white people to talk about what is happening in Niger, and there have been few Pan-Africans out there who have told our people the truth, and you should know the truth and be empowered with the truth. Now, this is what is happening in Niger. For over 40 years or 50 years, the European nations knew that Nigeria alone in Africa has over 6 trillion cubic metric of natural gas. Forget about the natural gas in the Congo. The amount of natural gas that have been proved to be contained in the eastern regions of Nigeria can empower the entire European economy for the next 60 years. Tapping and exporting this gas reserve to the European states will make Nigeria a developed country. As a matter of fact, even with the nature of corruption in Nigeria, the amount of money that Nigeria can make from exporting gas to Europe will make Nigeria a very rich country in any case, <laughs> in any way you can imagine. So most of the Western, especially the European country, made a conscious decision not to invest to exploit Nigerian gas, but choose their enemy, their arch enemy, the Russians, to rely for natural gas. So this is all about the hatred that we know exists for the white race to see a black man succeed and become like them. For some reason, the Europeans do not really like us to be prosperous. I guess only God knows the reason why. So for all these past decades, the Western powers have been relying on their enemy, Russia, for gas. Only reason why the Europeans were importing gas from Russia was because they don't want Africans to become developed. They don't want to buy African gas and they have allowed the African gas in Nigeria to stay on the ground until they will be able to develop technology that will get them away from gas. And they expect to have that technology as soon as 2040. If our leaders in Africa could unite, they could raise the money that are necessary to invest in our mega project, such as the Nigeria-Morocco gas pipeline, such as the hydroelectric dams in the Congos, and many other trans-Saharan railway and big projects that can benefit our people and make Africa a contender in the global market. Now, because of the war of Ukraine, the Americans and the Ukraine Secret Service, from all indications, sabotage the biggest gas pipeline that was supplying Europe from Russia. And because of that sabotage operation, the Western government have now decided to invest in Nigeria gas to export it via the Nigerian Morocco gas pipeline project, a project which the Nigerian government for the past 30 years have been struggling to look for investment 
in order to be able to exploit their natural gas and sell it in Europe. They could not. All the feasibility studies that was done by the Nigerian government shows that with the current financial capability of Nigeria and the African ECOWAS states, it will take up to 2046 for the natural gas of Nigeria to be exported to Europe via the Nigerian-Morocco pipeline. Because there is a war between Europe and Russia, the Europeans have decided to invest in a project that was supposed to take 16 years because they have brought in their technology, it is going to take two years. Imagine the difference from 16 years to two years to construct the pipeline, the gas pipeline between Nigeria through Morocco to Spain and Italy. They were preparing that by this summer, by March next year, that pipeline will be working. So in retaliation for the sabotage of Russia's supply of gas to Europe, the Russian government, through their intelligence service working with the Wagner Group, have helped the coup plotters in Niger. The Niger coup has nothing to do with us Africans, but everything to do with the Nigeria Morocco gas pipeline. This is the real reason why the coup was successful in Niger. Of course, we as Africans, we are looking for any way to get rid of our dictators. We want to be able to choose our own leaders and make sure our ballot boxes count. So we take advantage of this and we benefit. It is a good thing. But we should never forget the interests of Russia and the interests of the West. Now the war between Russia and the West have been brought to West, to Northern Africa. The Europeans have no choice but to fight to secure that gas pipeline between Nigeria and Morocco. That is why they have mounted the 15 members in ECOWAS, which the French government had signed a deal with to guarantee this Nigeria-Morocco gas pipeline in financing them. All those 15 members will rally their people, rally their military, and they will be sponsored by the West to go and attack Russia, this time not Russia, but Niger. Russia have already brought in military over 5,000 military hardware through Bamako. And they are also going to unite African countries to fight for the Russian interest to make sure that that pipeline do not supply Europe as long as Russian gas do not supply Europe. So the American and the West are going to launch a war in Africa against the Russia. But this time, it will not be their sons and daughters that are going to be dying. It is going to be our African military men who are going to die in that war. So my fellow Africans, be aware of what is happening before you cast your lot, before you scream praises to any events that is going on in Africa, know exactly the powers and the dynamic of the geopolitics that are involved. As for us, the African people, what we want the most is to be independent and be able to handle our sovereignty by ourselves. We want governments that can be voted by the people that will work for the people. We need leaders with vision that are going to protect the African interests and make sure Africa do not still become another battleground for the Western powers. We had enough of their killing. The barbarians of the West and the barbarians of Russia should leave Africa alone. We are peace-loving people. We don't want to be caught in the middle of this war. Nevertheless, we don't have any choice. 90% of our population are living in poverty and want to leave the continent for a better life elsewhere. We must try to resolve this problem. The solution is, is not going abroad to seek for political asylum or to become the next wave of refugees. Our generations of the millennia have fallen into that trap. It is time for us Africans to come together, organize ourselves, have an African force, unite our continent to protect our interests against foreign invaders and foreign barbarians who knows nothing but fighting each other. We believe, as the, the Kenyan representative of the United Nations have said, we believe in the principles that are fundamental in the formation of the United Nations. The West should not forget about this. They should come back to their sense and abide to the fundamental principle that forms the United Nations, that every nation is equal in its sovereignty and no stronger nation should take what does not belong to them, simply because they can. 
That is the only way we can live in peace in this war. Africans should stand for principles and not take side in the wars of the elephants, but do everything to make sure that we push away this war out of our continent. God bless you. Have a peaceful sky wherever you are.